Hi, my name is Tara. If you don't know me, I'm a makeup artist. Welcome. So today, I'm going to be recreating a look I did for the Art Pop era. So the look I'm going to be doing today is from the promo for Art Pop, the applause cover. This was a version that was going to translate well for walking around paparazzi shots and for radio interviews so let's go okay so first we're going to create a beautiful skin that's kind of glowy and dewy to lay these bright colors over and since my brows are not bleached sorry my dog just did that since my brows aren't bleached we're going to make them appear like they are bleached so this is a drugstore brand. This is BB Cream by Garnier Skin Renew. This is light slash medium. And yeah, I'm gonna use a drugstore brand because that's literally what I was using at the time. So this is has sunscreen in it and it gives the skin a beautiful light glowy finish. You can even use your fingers as I'm about to do. So you can literally just do this. And get it even. I love using things with sunscreen in them because you get some double action protection and coverage. And I love the coverage of this product. It's really beautiful. And it's like the only um, drugstore brand I've found that I really like. It doesn't break the skin out. And it's really beautiful. And as you'll notice, I'm like going over my brows because for this look, I'm gonna make the brows look bleached anyways. So I don't mind that I'm just kind of removing them at this point. Get all the way to the hairline. And I didn't use face tapes for this look, but if you want it to be a little more snatched, feel free to amp it up with some face tapes. Because why not? Now this product comes in light medium. Um, that's the only one I've ever seen in stores. I ordered from them a fair and I don't actually like the consistency of the fair as much. The product, the formula, formulation, <laughs> formulation is a bit different and um, it's a bit thicker. So this light medium formula hits the sweet spot. Obviously it's not gonna match all skin tones, but because it's not so um, thick and it's not full coverage, it will match a good amount of skin tones in the fair medium range, obviously. Make sure it's blended in. You can get yourself your foundation brush and just make sure it's blended all the way out so you don't have a line. But if you look even up close, it's quite beautiful. So I actually wouldn't add any more coverage on. I would take the excess on my fingers, roll it into the under eyes, and that's my base. To take away my brows and make it look as though they are bleached, I will take this Gray Free by Giuliano. It's professional temporary hair color. This is for the roots, but it's in light blonde. And I will use this on my brows. It's a little hack. If you're not ready for the commitment of a brow bleaching, you can get these little mascara ones. See, it just coated my hair there and it looks blonde. <laughs> and fully coat the hairs. It's helpful to go downwards as well, so you get both sides of the hair.
and you will end up getting some on the skin. And so what I do is I will take a Q-tip, I have my trusted little Q-tips right here, just regular ones, not pointy. See, I'm already bleached brows <laughs> and just clean up on the edges. Clean up aisle edge. And there you go. Bleached brows in seconds. Now, the cheek color on this one is very subtle because we're going to add a lot of other colors. So, I'll take my Smashbox Soft Light Lens. It's very subtle. <laughs> and I'll take this brush, tap it in there, and just give the cheeks a little color. Like so. Now for the eyes, I used a purple liner. So this is called Electro Lady, and this is MAC, my little Chanel eyeliner brush. And I'm just gonna line the eye, but not bring it out. Just doing a little subtle. <laughs> and just dip it in there. And you'll see it's just like a casual line. But obviously, whatever you wanna do, if you wanna drag it out, go ahead. I'm just showing you exactly what I did. Because I just wanted to line the eye. I didn't want the eyeliner to like overpower anything else I was doing. Or the brow. I need to clean this brush just a little bit. I can't let it sit there with this stuff on it because it will harden. Alright, so my brows are pretty much gone. My eyes are lined purple. Now I'm going to take a lip that's a little orangey and a little red. So I'm going to start with this Lord and Berry 20100. It's very orangey. Take my little brushy brush and my little MAC palette of reds. Lady Danger. I'm going to dip into Lady Danger. So if you just have Lady Danger, you can also use her. She's like a really good orangey red. And I'm just going to use the brush because I don't want like harsh lines. I'm going to dip a little into Ruby Woo and a little more Lady Danger. I like to look at the lip from all sides to see how the shape is looking. Now I'm going to take a little bit of this one, which is MAC Red, and just pop it in the middle so it has a little more dimension. Red lip, it's very different than like a contoured lip with the liner, but it's very poppy. Okay, let's, we're going to curl the lashes and put mascara on them, very simple. Now, if you want a little extra va va voom, you could feel free feel free to do a little falsy lash here. Like we could do a subtle one, but I didn't use lashes in this look. I wanted to keep it very clean and focus on the color, but you can do whatever you want. Now for the fun finger paints. I used the Makeup Forever palette. So this is literally what I would recommend. 
dip a little color. And you kind of just swipe it on the places you think will be flattering. So I'm literally just <laughs> dipping different fingers into different colors. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. For this side of my face, let's try this. You want it to be, remember like where on your face it's gonna be flattering, okay? So, I do. So you wanna kinda keep everything going up and out, you know? I like it a little messy, but I don't wanna like see too many fingerprints, you know? Okay, I wanna go back in with some green. All right, so. On this hand, I have <laughs> some, yeah, we're gonna do one side at a time, okay? I have some yellow. So we have this yellow, that's more like, I wanna get like a good, yeah, I want like that. So that I can kinda do more of a smear than a dab, like that. And then there's this lighter, like, lemon yellow. And let's just get, so it's almost like a highlight. Oh yeah, I like that. I'm gonna get, like, right up under the eye so it's like a highlight. So, like, just get messy with it. <laughs> Don't be afraid. That's nice. Now there's a white here. I'm just gonna, like, do that and just be crazy. I think if we do, I want the white up here. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's great. I like that. <gasps> Oops. See, that's a happy accident. I like that. So that like was accidentally on my finger and it just, I like the way it turned out. Same with that green. I also would like a little, oops. So that's one side of my face. <laughs> now let's try the other side. So maybe we'll do this blue. Mmm, that's pretty. Bring that down to the lid. And then I would like this like salmon-y color. Just get a good healthy serving of that. Now at this point, my fingers are all a little tainted. So, you know, I could have a, if I had a wet wipe here, that would probably be what I recommend to you, my friends. <laughs> but since I didn't think ahead, this is what's happening and I'm honestly not mad about it. All right, so I'm gonna like, just bring that down a little. I wouldn't mind a little bit more of that up here so that we're kind of like bringing it up. Um, what else do I have on my fingers here? Oh, I like her. like a little black. Maybe we do like keep that side a little more simple. I'm feeling it. Maybe a little more black here. I think we need a little more green. <laughs> Wait, I do have something to wipe that off. And you see, everything you touch will be covered with color. <laughs> Which is part of the fun. It's like finger painting. 
That white is nice. This is like the same white when she has white all over her hands. You literally just smear it like this and you get it on the okay, Let's get a little more blue in there. Oh, it's so pretty. How pretty was this? The best part is that I have a Zoom call in like 20 minutes. <laughs> and you're like, hello? Yeah, that green, that's what I want, okay. Let's do a little bit of this. Oh yeah. See, I would recommend wiping your fingers off so you don't have um, muddiness of colors like I do right now. Like I have a little red in there. And of course, there's probably traditionalists out there who would use a brush and other fingers. And that's great too. Ooh, this is a pretty color we haven't tried yet too, so. So just like have fun with it. I like it to look a little more smeary. I don't like it to look perfect, but I like the lips. You make the lips look nice and you have a nice straight eyeliner and beautiful glowy skin. Then all the rest is just and then with the with the ponytail, it's cute. 